Hi, I'm Lisa. I want to be out there riding my biker, and I want to be protected. So I need a helmet. But how is the helmet supposed to fit? Come along to see how a helmet should fit. You should always try on a helmet before you buy it. In fact, try on as many as you can. These are the things to look for. Okay, once the helmet is on, you'll notice that the cheek pads are putting a little bit of pressure. It's not merely touching, it's squeezing my cheeks a little bit. Okay, and on the top, you should be able to put in one finger. If you're able to put, squeeze in two or more fingers, then that means it's too loose. So it needs to be a snug fit. And rotate it around your head a little bit. You want to see if upon impact, is the helmet going to completely flip on you? You should not be able to rotate the helmet so that uh, your eyes come out of this visor area. And so, oh, we're putting it up and down. We should probably buckle it. So let me buckle it so that it's appropriately on. So I usually don't have it too tight, but not a whole lot of slack either. Okay, so there should not be too much vertical movement. Feel for whether you have any pressure points at all. If you feel pressure points very quickly upon putting it on, that's going to create a real headache for you because you're going to be wearing this for, I don't know, 20, 30, an hour, two hours. Um, and so if you feel any discomfort or pressure points upon trying it on, that's going to be a problem. Um, so when you're in the store, keep it on for as long as you can to see how it feels over an extended period of time. If you're someone who's going to ride with different hairstyles, like braids that make your head a little bit larger, then be sure to fit your helmet to your largest hairstyle, because you can always add pads when you wear a smaller hairstyle. I hope that's helpful. Please check out my other videos, give me a thumbs up, and subscribe. Thanks!